So here's my cube of clay. Um, I'm going to want to try and make this more into a sphere. So that's going to happen by compressing these corners first and then coming along and compressing these edges down. And I'm going to use this part of my hand right here. You can see it's got clay on it. I was already doing this before in a previous video. This is the my favorite part of my hand to be using in any aspects of uh, pot building, whether it's on the wheel or hand building. And I'm going to take that and just smoosh a little bit of pressure, smoosh that corner down, smoosh this corner down. Okay, I'm going to hit all these corners. How many corners are there on a cube? For all you geometry geniuses out there, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter now because this is turning into a sphere. I'm just knocking those edges down. I don't want to. I don't want to create a ridge. I want to knock everything down. If I start creating ridges, I'll get folds. And at least for this exercise, I don't want anything like that. I want this clay to be really nice nice and round no folds in it if I have a crease like that I'll take my thumb I'm not going to add any water adding water will just seep into that crack this is one of the common misconceptions when you're working with clay oh if it dries out or if there's something I don't like happening I'll just add water and I'll tell you what that's uh, counterintuitive but it's not not going to do you any favors adding water most of the time. There are times when it will help, but I'm using the my cupped hand slap method. So I'm creating, I've got this roundness in my hand. Once I've got all those edges narrowed down, I'm just slapping, slapping that clay into the, this nice round shape. Here I got this weird fold. Let's get rid of that. This is the high point into the low point, high point into the low point. Just a little bit of clay. Okay. Smack it around using my whole hand until it's pretty round. your sphere.